scientific temper. I see things in a very objective way. If it can be my mistake or anybody else's mistake, I immediately identify it due to my objective thinking. Jawaharlal Nehru had written in Discovery of India, the basic problem of Indian people is that they lack a scientific temper. I believe that this is the case of the Muslims and other communities as well. This shortcoming is found in all. The importance of scientific temper is that if you accept this, you will immediately find a starting point. If you do not accept this, you will not find a starting point. I advise you to develop scientific temper. If you consider Japan and Germany, both in the World War II incurred many losses. Both were ruined. But it is very strange that both Germany and Japan could rise again. I think that we should not complain about the oppression done by others. Rather, we should try to know the lacking on our part. The starting is always from our side, not from others. This is what I have found on the basis of my study. I can say that this is the problem with everyone in India. This is why people blame others for oppression or zulm and do not try to find out their shortcomings. This is why there could not be a right beginning in the Indian subcontinent. There could not be a right beginning for progress as seen in other countries. The point is that the present age was a new age from every aspect. Everyone faced problems in this new age. People, however, began to find reasons for their problems in others due to their old mindset. In one phrase, our problem is blame others. If we change this and adopt the principle of blame thyself, we will very soon make progress. The present age is very different. Every group or community had to face losses. For example, the communities which had the attitude of blame thyself could find a starting point immediately. Now they are heading towards success. Our greatest problem is that we are stuck in the past and do not think about the present. Time never returns for anyone. One has to change oneself. If Germany had waited for time to come back, it would have never changed. But Germany accepted the changed times and rebuilt along new lines. This is why today Germany is a new united Germany. The secret to the above principle is high thinking, that is, rising above the situation in thinking. This is what I do. I never succumb to the situation. Yesterday, also, I thought by rising above the situation, and so I am speaking today. I pray to God that he develops high thinking in you. May you keep praying to God, and you will find a new door open for yourself in every situation. I pray for all of us.